I'll start with this poem. I wrote this poem when the bombs were dropping on Gaza, and I was the media spokesperson for the coalition uh, doing a lot of the organizing. And we had stayed up to about six o'clock in the morning, perfecting every sound bite. And by the end, if you're Palestinian, you know most Palestinians get tired and start pronouncing our P's as B's. So we become Palestinians by the end of the day. So I was practicing my P's all night. And the next morning, um, one of the journalists asked me, don't you think it would all be fine if you just stopped teaching your children to hate? Um, I did not insult the person, I was very polite, uh, but I wrote this poem uh, as a response to these types of questions we Palestinians always get. Today, my body was a TV'd massacre. Today, my body was a TV'd massacre that had to fit into sound bites and word limits. Today, my body was a TV'd massacre that had to fit into sound bites and word limits filled enough with statistics to counter measured response. And I perfected my English and I learned my UN resolutions. But still, he asked me, Ms. Ziada, don't you think everything would be resolved if you would just stop teaching so much hatred to your children? Pause. I look inside of me for strength to be patient, but patience is not at the tip of my tongue as the bombs drop over Gaza. Patience has just escaped me. Pause. Smile. We teach life, sir. Rafif, remember to smile. Pause. We teach life, sir. We, Palestinians, teach life after they have occupied the last sky. We teach life after they have built their settlements and apartheid walls. After the last skies, we teach life, sir. But today, my body was a TV'd massacre made to fit into sound bites and word limits. And just give us a story, a human story. You see, this is not political. We just want to tell people about you and your people. So give us a human story. Don't mention that word apartheid and occupation. This is not political. You have to help me as a journalist to help you tell your story, which is not a political story. Today, my body was a TV'd massacre. How about you give us a story of a woman in Gaza who needs medication. How about you? Do you have enough bone broken limbs to cover the sun? Hand me over your dead and give me the list of their names in 1,200 word limits. Today, my body was a TV'd massacre made to fit into sound bites and word limits and move those that are desensitized to terrorist blood. But they felt sorry. They felt sorry for the cattle over Gaza. So I give them UN resolutions and statistics, and we condemn and we deplore and we reject, and these are not two equal sides, occupier and occupied, and 100 dead, 200 dead, and 1,000 dead. And between that war crime and massacre, I vent out words and smile, not exotic, smile, not terrorist. And I recount, I recount 100 dead, 200 dead, a thousand dead. Is anyone out there? Will anyone listen? I wish I could wail over their bodies. I wish I could just run barefoot in every refugee camp and hold every child, cover their ears so they wouldn't have to hear the sound of bombing for the rest of their life the way I do. Today, my body was a TV'd massacre. And let me just tell you, there is nothing your UN resolutions have ever done about this. And no soundbite, no soundbite I come up with with no matter how good my English gets. No soundbite, no soundbite, no soundbite, no soundbite will bring them back to life. No soundbite will fix this. We teach life, sir. We teach life, sir. We Palestinians wake up every morning to teach the rest of the world life, sir. Thank you.